Okay, guys, this is our ring. Ooh, nice. I am the judge. <laughs> Go. Okay, which one do you want to practice with first? Who's she best? Likes it. Oh. No. Each of you pick your show goat. Can't and it can't be Luna. Oh, what? sorry, Luna. <laughs> She does. She would win though. That's why she can't go. She would win everything. Okay, you're just too good. All right, we are going to do some practice with showing because it's finally cool outside. And now we can be outside and start to practice showing for the spring. So let's see if she'll go, like try to lead her. Olive's pretty sweet. She's pretty chill. Oh, well, okay. So <laughs> Yeah, so so Olive's in heat and Winston's like freaking out about that. He thinks that, and the boys are over there freaking out about it too. Is she gonna go the other way? She's so sweet. Good job, Olive. Ethan, see you're a pro. You're a professional. Wiggle her skin. <laughs> oh my gosh, these other goats. Well, you gotta you gotta like separate her legs a little bit. Lydia's gonna grab the other ones. There you go. Oh, such a pretty girl. Oh no, you do on the spine, up and down the spine. Good job, you did it. She's, she's pretty chill. She just... You chose the best goat. So. Okay, so Lydia's doing Daphne. Daphne was really easy last time we showed her, so. <laughs> no, she was. Oh, no. I actually thought you were serious for a second. No, she was pretty rotten, but she was a little baby then, so. You can separate her legs a little bit, like her back legs, so they're just a little bit, like you can lift her up in the, at the udder. No. Okay. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? How we sort yeah. of pick them up. Good job. So nice. So pretty. You're so good now, though. <laughs> Why are you so naughty? Wanna know what actually happened? Ethan, you wanna try it with Tatum real quick and we'll see if Tatum. Was Tatum good last time? Uh, she was pretty good. I mean, she won grand champion and I mean, best in show, but she was kind of hard. <laughs> so we have these collars for just leading them around the farm because there's always places we're trying to take them. But this one goes not really like pulling on their neck, but just right under their jaw. So pull it up a little bit, but not too tight, just kind of loose there. All right, see if she'll walk with you. Yeah, well, she puts her head down. Yeah, she does put her head down when she walks. She does do that. She kind of fights a little bit, but she's good. <laughs> you forgot to. Okay. to okay, try to set her up real quick. Oh, <laughs> good job, Ethan. Good job. We just need to do this a million more times. <laughs> Take lots of practice. Yeah, I know. They went so crazy when we took them, but I think it was because it was a new place and they were hungry. They had, we hadn't brought the right feed and it was a disaster that day, but. They don't train like dogs. They are very stubborn. Okay, honey, show Luna because she really wants to be shown. Ready? goes up there like that, and then you walk. No, she <laughs> doesn't want to. Oh, good job, Luna. You win. You did it. Good job, Luna. All right, you guys are good. We're just oh. professionals now, so we're gonna win every single competition. Yeah, there you go. Better watch out. Hey, Ivy, what? do you wanna try it with Fern real quick? Okay, yeah. go ahead and lead. Oh, just lead her around. Okay, lead her around. <laughs> good job. Good job. You did it. So as you guys know, our goal is to start seriously showing 
last year, or I guess this year in May, we went to our very first show and actually won. Tatum won Grand Champion, Junior Grand Champion, and Best Junior Doe in Show, which was amazing. And it was a really good experience because while Tatum did really well, uh, Daphne <laughs> didn't place as well, but she was being sort of naughty, so it was hard to get her uh, positioned correctly and, and have her look, you know, good. So I convinced my family to do this with me. So we're gonna practice all winter and you're gonna see us trying to lead around the goats that hopefully we'll be able to show in the spring. So I guess that's a benefit of living in Arizona is that we have perfect weather throughout the winter. So we'll be able to practice all winter and we're gonna need it we're gonna need it but it'll be fun i'm so excited to get into showing my friend crystal from blue cactus dairy goats convinced me to go to that first show and ever since then i've just been hooked because it's such a fun extra hobby to add to already owning goats and it also teaches you which lines are the best and which traits should be bred or continued and which one should be bred out so pretty interesting so the plan is to show the two bucks the Tilly line of Tilly, Fern, and Tatum, and the two little girls, Olive and Daphne. That's my show group. But any babies that are born, we would also add to that lineup. So any babies out of Tatum or Fern or Tilly, or even Olive and Daphne in the spring could potentially be shown. So we'll see what kind of lineup we have by then. For now, we're just gonna work on the does we have now. And uh, once the bucks get out of rut, which means they won't be as smelly or as crazy about breeding, then we'll start practicing with them. And I'm sure that will be interesting. Lydia, watch, he, he'll run to you. Yeah, he usually does. <laughs> oh, he's doing a little buck fight with you. He's coming. Come on. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he likes humans. He's so cute. Oh. <laughs> it's a big jump, but he, he likes to prance around. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Not a big jump. Ooh, here is a good one. Okay guys, we did it. We grew green beans. It only took a couple months, and now we're ready to do our first harvest. So, let me show you what we have. This row is 25 feet long. I'm so proud of myself. We made sure that the pill bugs didn't eat any of the roots because we added diatomaceous earth twice. And now, green beans. Now I'm finally realizing just how many are in this whole patch, but uh, it looks like we're gonna have multiple harvests and maybe we'll get to can some. That will be really cool. But for now, I'm just searching around and looking for the big ones. Like that. Wow guys, I can't believe we got five pounds of green beans from this little row. So I think because we have so many, we're gonna can this batch. And then the rest that we have, we'll just eat off until it's all gone. I made sure to plant a stringless variety so that they were easy to prep for canning. So we'll just break off all of the ends, wash them and clean them up, and then I'm gonna dice them. So that when I pull a can out and I wanna make a casserole or a soup, I can dump it in really quickly. I'm gonna do the raw pack method, which means I prepare some boiling water, put the raw green beans in a jar, and then add a teaspoon of salt and the boiling hot water. We'll leave about an inch of headspace, clean off the rims, and add the lids and the rings. Last time I canned, a lot of people got confused and thought I was using a pressure cooker. I'm not, I'm actually using a digital pressure canner. So this is specifically made for canning and it's the only electric canner approved by the USDA. So don't worry, it's absolutely safe to can with. In the end, that's it, we're done. So from five pounds of green beans, we've got about five quarts. So I'll stick these in the pantry and hopefully throughout the winter I'll use them for lots of soups, stews, and casseroles. I am not a 
raincoat here to keep you warm Then go back in the closet after the storm I'm not a match, simply waiting to burn All I am is a friend, your friend till the end All I am is a friend, your friend till the end Ethan, they so hungry. They're so hungry that they buried their entire food tray in the dirt. Oh my. Careful, don't let them out, don't let them out. They're friendlier than they used to be. Oh my gosh, you're totally right. How are they not scared? It's because they're starving their faces off. Food. Don't put out. Yay, there you go. Oh my gosh, Ethan, do you even remember which chicken is which? Um, I'm gonna quiz you, I'm gonna quiz you. Okay, this one. Uh, <laughs> uh, grandma, because she's gray. Her name is Lavender. Oh yeah. Remember? I remember now. Okay, 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 next one. This one. Um, this is one of the ones you named. Flurf two. Which one is Flurf, Flurf two? Three, Flurf remember? Three. Oh, is there three of them now? Oh my gosh, you are failing the quiz so far. Okay, this one. This one. Um, you also named this one. Rockstar. You also named this one, remember? Oh, Bandit. Bandit, good job. Okay, this one. Um. Come on. Feather shoes, cause you got- No, you got that one is Buffy, remember? No. Yeah. Okay, then last one. Come on. Come on. Americana. No. Because it has the... No. Uh, Her name is Stevie, Ethan. Why is it Stevie? I can't believe you forgot all of the chick's names in that short of time. I remembered Flurf. You remembered Bandit. And Bandit. The only ones you named. Yep. Okay, try... Okay, see which ones are friendly now. Do lavender. This one's very friendly. Lavender is super friendly. She loves us. She's pretty chill. Bandit's okay. This one's a little Buffy skittish. Buffy is a little skittish. She's fine. She's okay. Ooh. Oh. She doesn't like us Stevie at all. Stevie does not like us at all. Well, you failed the quiz. Yeah, I got Sorry. two out of five. You got two out of five, so. Yeah. So sad. Today is a big, what are we gonna say, pizza oven day. All right. So let's get started. Salem, maybe we shouldn't chew on sticks anymore, okay? Look what I got you. <laughs> you want another one of these? Oh, you love these. I think you should leave the crack. <laughs> it does look good, doesn't it? It is. It's a nice little window. We can see to the other side. <laughs> it worked out perfect because it split right in the middle. Yeah. And so it was easy to pick it up in two different pieces because it was way too heavy to lift in one piece. So what kind of material are you putting in between the cracks? Some kind of flexible whatever? It's just a high temperature mortar. Okay, so our next step was to put this insulation padding stuff, and uh, yeah, this stuff is just supposed to be, you're, you're better explaining material than me. It's a pad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's an insulation blanket. I think it has fiberglass and different insulating things in it. This wasn't too bad. It was pretty easy to cut and fit to the dome, so yeah, that was but, good. Yeah. But then we had to break out the... Chicken, chicken wire. wire. We hate chicken wire. Oh man, it's hard. Ugh, it's just so bendy and it's so hard once it bends to try to fix it mm -hmm. and uh. Yeah. So we just kind of winged it. We kind of just figured out where we needed to cut it so we could overlap and bend it and cut out pieces and all that. But it ended up working out. We finally got it all down. We used some little twisty ties to hold it all together. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it sticks up a little bit in different places because we cover it up. And this was actually my favorite part. It was like Play-Doh. Yeah, you are really good at it. I'm good. I should, I should start a business. So this is like just sort of your regular outdoor stucco. It was like a high fiber blend. So it's supposed to do really good, prevent cracking, stuff like that. 
but it was fun. It was fun to cover the whole thing and then smooth it all out. It was different than doing the actual perlite because perlite is really crumbly and bumpy. N not smooth at all. Yeah, so this was fun. It was like clay molding S it on there. Stucco is really good stuff because it's easy to get smooth. It's really easy to smooth out and look nice. Oh, and then we put our little our little chimney pipe in. Chimney, chimney. Oh, so this is cool because Kevin found the perfect fitting for it. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. Just like expansion stuff that you put around chimneys. So as, yeah, so that it can not crack while it's in there. And then I got to do the front part, which was the most fun. So this was fun because I got to make the design I wanted, make it nice and smooth and mm -hmm. make it look really good. Yeah, really good. So yeah. I'm pretty happy with it. I like it. So the next steps are the fun steps because now that we have the actual dome finished, then we're gonna do some more stucco on the sides of the walls down here and then we're gonna do actual cool decorative tile on the countertop in front of it. You're so. forgetting that you want a brick archway. Oh brick. yes, 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 yes. We wanted to have like a little brick archway here. So, oh yeah, we gotta do that. But yeah, it's still the fun part because it's all the details. It's all the, all the fun parts to it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll make our first fire, which is our curing fire. Then after that, pizza. And guys, I think I have to admit now that Kevin was right about the placement. You were right. Because it is way better being tucked back right there. And he convinced me what we're gonna do, instead of build a counter and sink next to it, is we're gonna get just like a rolly cart to roll out our pizza dough and all of our, um, you know, toppings and stuff. Stainless steel. It's like a workstation. So we'll see how that works and we'll see what we need. And maybe we'll do a counter, but I like right now how it doesn't take up the view too much. Yeah. See, I'm always right. He is so friendly, he wants to come out now. Oh, oh, watch out, we're coming in. Come here. Hello. Hey. Oh, you're so funny. You're gonna attack us with your no horns. <laughs> yeah. You're pulled, you got nothing. He's definitely becoming more buck-like yeah. where he <laughs> tries to fight us. You are so pretty. You gonna jump off? Do it. Oh. Well, everybody says he has a little Tweety Bird on his side. <laughs> but I've also heard a witch, although I don't see that. And he has an E on the other side. Mm -hmm. So I guess it depends on where you are mentally <laughs> on what you're gonna see. Oh wait, no, this is the E. Oh, you're right. Oh no, that's an E too. This is the Tweety Bird. This is the capital E, right? <laughs> okay, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. You're Capital still cute. E. Capital e. He's so friendly. Yeah. Singletons are always friendly. That's the one bonus of having one. She is such a good mom. She's just always feeding this little guy. He is definitely going to get nice and big. Yeah, she wants him to get big and strong. All right guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you wanna watch the video where we went to our first goat show and won, you can go ahead and click here.